Hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain AutoCAD 2022 that I learned from my last lecture. So let's start it right now. So the first one is units. So basically, uh, drawing units is help us to know about the distance and to let we know about more specific or more accurate the distance that we get. So for me, I, I, I often use architecture as my basement, basement floor plan. So, for example, I use architecture, and mostly I use it. The precision precision is zero inches dash zero one over four inches, and the unit to scale I also use it at inch use it as inches. So, for example, I form a rectangle and I use add for 30 inches, comma, 20 inches and enter. Oh, sorry, I've I done a mistake. Let me do it again. Eh? So, again, I use 30 inches, comma, and 20 inches Oh, sorry, I need to do it again. So, same thing, 30 inches, comma, 20 inches, enter. So, here I get a more specific, more specific, more accurate the distance that I get. Okay, so the next one is option. Okay, so... If you guys are more familiar or more used to be for light team, so actually you can change it to light team for like this also can. So change it to light team so there's more white and maybe you are more comfortable with your eyes. But for me, if I already used, used to be for dark team, so, I, so actually it's good for me. I use it actually it's more comfortable. So the next one is the next one is color. So actually you you can change the uniform background colors like if you want to change it to yellow. So it will be like this. So here's the example and if I press as apply and close so automatically here will be changed to yellow but it looks kind of weird so i'll change it back <laughs> i'll change it back i restore my current elements and apply and close okay so this is so another setting or any display resolution that's up to you whether you want to you want to change it or you want to adjust it to that is more suitable for you okay so the next one so actually after you did or you complete a file for AutoCAD drawing so you can you also can save it as AutoCAD 2018 or, or the past like here you can save it in here so here's maybe not nothing nothing important. You guys can you guys can investigate by yourself if you want to know about more about the open and safe part. So I going to next. So default plot setting for new drawing. So if you for if you use it for output device for Microsoft Print to to PDFs, which means after after you complete your drawing, you want to you want to print or you also can press it. You also can connect it here, or or you also can save it to PDF. So here is nothing nothing else also nothing important also. So I'm going to next one. Okay, so system. So look at the graphic performance. Actually, here here is shown your 
your graphic card in your laptop. If for my graphic card, it's GeForce RTX 3050 type. So here's a set effect setting that actually is let your compute let your laptop computer make it more smooth. So or if you turn on your hardware acceleration, here can here can help you to go into advanced mode, which is uh your graphic card will be will be functioning for to help your computer or to help your laptop or computer make it more smooth to guarantee that there's won't be lagging when you doing your drawing okay so that's okay so here's same here's the same thing also that's up to you whether you want to change it to make yourself feel comfortable or not so the next one is user preferences the user's preferences yes is also the same things that you that you if you really want to change the setting also it's up to you so going to drafting okay so the drafting for auto snap marker size you, you can you can adjust it to big or small so Pressure size also also the same things. Okay, so I'm going to 3D modeling. So here's the same thing also. Here also you need to you need to adjust it whether that is suitable for you or not. So I go to selection. Okay, so here's a pick box size. So if you if you want to get a pick box size, there's easily for you to get so you can adjust it to more bigger so i i'll try it i'll try it to max it and same to grip size i'll let it more bigger so the setting also is up to you so you can see the box is getting bigger and for example i after i form a line Okay, that's it. So the grip size also is getting bigger. So you can easily move it, but actually it's not accurate for you to get the midpoint or the end point. So back to option. So the last one is profile. So anything that you add to this or you can rename or import export this this based on your based on your profile that let you save it let you save it or add it to the list okay so so the next one so the next one I'll show you the layer so if you want if you want to get the dash line, like for example, this one I already set, so I set once more. So it's the same thing, or I put the name is mesh. I put a name for mesh. And the color, I change it to blue. And if you want to get another type of line, so here's for example already, right? But I don't want both of these lines. So what should I do? I'm going to load. So here got a lot of a lot of line that you can choose that you can use for if I want to use zigzag line. So press it zigzag. Okay, everything that's already is it. So you you must make sure here you must tick twice and if if the mesh is already ticked, so you can close it and you can use so rectangle for example. You form actually this line is zigzag line and same to a line also. Okay, this one also is zigzag line. Well, that's not really obvious, but you need to zoom, you need to zoom it to see it clearly. 
Okay, so that's that's all for today. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it.